Canada will soon get what's said to be its first autonomous delivery fleet. Now, Loblaws has teamed up with Gatic, which is a California-based outfit. Uh, the plan is to use Gatic's robo-vans, or vans controlled by Gatic's technology, in a trial of delivering groceries in Toronto. However, initially, there will be a human cooperator uh, sitting in the van. We're joined by Gatic CEO and co-founder Gautam Narung. Gautam, thanks very much for coming on the show. Good to be on, Andrew. Just want to, I mean, just talk about you for a second. So you got your Master of Science in Robotics at Carnegie Mellon University, and then you co-founded a company called Maverick Robotics mm -hmm. in New Delhi, yes. I believe, in the New Delhi area. Um, but mm -hmm. then since June 2017, you've been heading up Gatic. So you're a mm -hmm. robot scientist. Um, mm -hmm. Tell us what happened. Tell us about your life story. I mean, what's your skill? I mean, are, are you good <laughs> at controls or at the mechanical aspect of, of robots or what's your specialty? Well, uh, yes, I've had a long career in the space. Uh, so I started as a researcher. I would say working on all kinds of robots, right? Everything from uh, your um, humanoid robots, bipedal robots, legged robots, um, uh, lunar robots, uh, you know, bridge inspection robots, and then ultimately uh, self driving cars. Uh, talking more about um, um, the journey. So I got interested in the space. Um, you know, because of my mother. So my mother is a science teacher. Uh, me and uh, my uh, my uh, brother Arjun, uh, we used to help her out with the with her science exhibitions, working on different kind of projects. That's how I got started. And uh, you know, we had our first uh, company uh, back home in India. This was more than ten years ago. Um, interestingly, mm -hmm. uh, the co-founder for that company as well was uh, Arjun. So Arjun is my co-founder uh, at Gatik as well. So he's my older brother and he's the CTO of the company. Mm -hmm. uh, at, at Maverick, we were doing uh, medical robotics for rehabilitation of stroke patients. So it was a really cool technology okay. uh, funded, but our mar market was India. And um, India, you know, the, sure. the labor there is cheap. So it wasn't a good market. And uh, for us, uh, the lesson learned from, uh, from that experience was uh, one, it's not just a technology play. Uh, the problem that mm -hmm. you're solving in the market that you're in is, is very important. So we took that lesson to heart and decided to uh, mm -hmm. basically uh, keep that into consideration when we started Gothic. So when we started Gothic back in 2017, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm oh, sorry to cut uh, you off there. And it's an amazing story. I could listen yeah. to you all day. I, I want to jump ahead to Loblaw. So what mm -hmm. these vans, um, these robo vans, they're not huge mm -hmm. vehicles. What do you do? What does Gatic do to adapt these vans? And I think they're Ford vans, or am I wrong? Yeah, so we target light and medium duty trucks. Uh, these are class three to class six trucks. Uh, and yes, you know, we upfit uh, Ford Transit uh, 350 chassis and cabin, uh, integrate our autonomous driving software that is specific to the middle mile segment, integrate the sensors and then provide delivery as a service to the customers. So our model is autonomous delivery as a service and uh, we automate uh, the middle mile segment of the supply chain for the retail customers. And specifically for Loblaw, uh, we are helping them automate their hub and spoke operations. So basically, our uh, autonomous box truck platforms uh, will be moving goods from uh, Loblaw's automated picking facility to multiple retail locations in the greater Toronto area. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the focus and the highlight here is that our trucks operate back and forth on fixed repeatable routes. So the idea here is that uh, you know we are able to really constrain the autonomy problem and uh, basically uh, you know get to the market faster and uh, you know constraining the problem helps us uh, make the techno technical challenge somewhat easier. What do you guys actually supply, though? I mean, there must be some kind of mechanic. Must be a lot of mechanical stuff involved in having robotic control of a of a van. This is not just software. There's got to be a lot of mechanical engineering involved. Uh Absolutely. So this is a systems play. Uh, so we focus on uh, the software side of things, uh, mechanical side, electrical side, and then uh, the overall system integration. Uh, one thing that we do not do right now is uh, we do not build the vehicles in-house. So we, we take off the shelf no. uh, vehicle platforms currently, which is Ford Transit, and then also take off the shelf uh, sensors and uh, AV specific hardware. Uh, the, the core IP uh, at the company is the autonomous driving software that is specific to the middle mile. Um, segment, in, we basically club all of it together and then provide an autonomous delivery service to the customers. Now, these vans, I mean, the idea will ultimately be to have them driving on their own on public roads 
dealing with Toronto drivers, um, Toronto cyclists like me, what's the biggest yeah. challenge here? So one thing is we have been uh, driving on public roads um, in uh, the greater Toronto area since Jan of this year. So uh, the partnership with, with Loblaw, the long-term partnership is uh, after a successful pilot that started in Jan of this year. And post that pilot, uh, the partner partnership is to expand uh, uh, with five more vehicles um, on five new routes, uh, moving on online grocery orders and other essential items from their hub to five retail locations in the greater Toronto area. So we have experience uh, operating on public roads in uh, in Canada. Our technology handles mm -hmm. uh, all kind of complex urban scenarios. So we do do, uh, do uh, semi-urban, urban, and highway driving um, scenarios. And uh, to answer your question, yes, uh, you know, uh, we had our winter experience driving in inclement weather uh, last winter, we are really looking oh, yeah. forward to uh, the coming winter as well. Um, it's as you can imagine, it's a it's a different kind of challenge for us. Uh, the operations mm -hmm. in Canada is super important because the experience and data that we get operating our vehicles here in the GTA area, it really helps uh, our uh, fleet across North America. So we have a shared learning model, mm -hmm. and uh, any any data, any experience uh, that we get from one deployment site is shared across multiple deployment sites, uh, and there is basically collective learning for the overall stack. It's an amazing story, uh, all right. How long do you think it'll be before one of these vehicles can actually take to the roads in Toronto on its own without a human operator <laughs> on board? Well, that's the golden question, right? Uh, so what I can say is uh, our uh, B2B uh, fixed route approach, uh, the timeline to take the driver off is much shorter than, let's say, some of the other applications in the AV space. Uh, so at Gatek, we're not trying to boil the ocean. We're trying to uh, basically mm -hmm. automate and perfect this technology on fixed repeatable routes. Uh, due to the structured autonomy approach, it helps us reduce the time to take the driver off. So the timeline uh, to do that is much shorter. Uh, the initial markets where mm -hmm. we, we will be taking the driver off uh, would be in fair weather conditions. And um, uh, doing that in inclement weather conditions is, is further down the roadmap. And that's why the partnership with Loeb Laws is super exciting. It's not a short-term uh, uh, pilot. It's not a one-off mm -hmm. demo. This is a multi-year uh, partnership where both the companies will be working together towards that common goal of uh, taking the driver off and, and basically scaling this solution across the supply chain for the for the for Canada's largest retailer.